Who am I? Uh, I'm just a small town kid from Illinois. My dad was a singer, and I kind of grew up around country music my whole life. And my parents very supportive of me. You know, they was raising me, whether they knew it or not, to be a country singer my whole life. I came here definitely on a mission. I didn't mess around. My first day here, I went to every every bar on Broadway. I started at Legends Corner, walked in with a tablet of paper, went to the bartender. How you doing? I'm Nick Cross. Nice to meet you. Who manages this place? What's his number? Wrote that down. And then I went to the next one. Then I went to the next one. Then I went to the next one. Networking is so important. Right. Like, you're going to see my face again. And I did it to every bar, and then I started over four hours later and did every bar again. And I had a job within, like, two hours. What was the first place that you played here in Nashville? Uh, Tootsie's was actually the first stage I ever stepped on. I walk in and this guy looks down at me and he goes, you look like a country singer, come on man, get up here and sing us something. And I was like, actually I am, I just moved here. And wow. I got up and I sang a song and I tried to get off. He's like, keep going man. <laughs> So I hear your new single, Another Country Song, has just been released on national radio. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I signed with Nashville Entertainment Weekly Records not too long ago. Since then, a lot of good things have been happening. This is the first time that I've ever had a single on national radio. Like, my mom can call in and request my song now, so pretty stoked about that. So if I want to hear some more of your music, where can I find you? Yeah, I'm all over the internet. Uh, most major retailers, iTunes, of course, Google Play, Amazon, probably a bunch that I don't know about. What does 2017 look like for you? New record, lots of touring. I'm hoping to have that done by probably this summer, maybe a winter release. I just signed with two new booking agencies, so I've been doing about 300 shows a year right now. And I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. What other kinds of music do you listen to besides country? About everything. Like, I even like some rap. Like, I love like Common and Nas, people that have something to say. Love rock and roll, classic rock, southern rock. Love the Allman Brothers, bands like that. What's your inspiration for songwriting? All kinds of things inspire me. Sometimes it's another song that inspires me. Or just an idea of something, and I'm like, I can't believe nobody's written about that yet. I just like the journey of it too. Like you start off with a blank piece of paper, and at the end of it, you have something and you can you can share that with the world. But sometimes you don't have a damn clue what you're gonna write about. And uh, this day, I did though. Kind of, I was like, What would you sing if if you felt like you was on stage? You know, you're stuck up there in the middle of the show and you see what you think is the most perfect woman. I would love to get to know her. That's probably my future wife. How? But you only got five minutes and she's leaving. You get one song to sing to her. What would that song be? I think it's all of what you do. Yeah, I mean, I definitely do. I would have quit this shit a long time ago if I didn't actually love it. Playing all the late nights, being the party all the time. Been drinking most of that time. You've already spent all your money that you made from your gigs anyway, <laughs> and you're gonna go home and feel like crap the next day. And then get up and do it all over again. Because you love it. <laughs> I have some of the greatest fans in the world. No one gets to where I'm at without a lot of help from a lot of people. So, I mean, I wanna thank everybody that's worked with me, and we're finally doing it now. If you know me, or if you ever went to school with me, or anything like that, come out and see me on tour. So we're going to request another country song by Nick Cross on the radio. And we're going to go to nickcrossmusic.com to find out more about your upcoming yep. tour. Nickcrossmusic.com. This time you sing along home. Cause baby, it just hit the charm. And all of a sudden I see the sound guy running up towards the stage, waving his hands crazy and all this. and. Uh, Turns out the speakers was on fire. We thought it was just a smoke machine and part of the show, so we're up there, we're just playing. About this time that we, we realized something's wrong, you know, he's, he's doing one of these, the flames just out of the speakers, catches the ceiling on fire. Like literally, we burned the mother down that night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God they had insurance. <laughs> it was weird. Like he grabbed the speaker and just like kicking the back door and throwing it outside. I think it was Ray Charles talking about it. He said, uh, when you're playing on one butt cheek, you're really feeling it. <laughs> oh. To play piano properly, you have to be on one Jeez. butt cheek.